it was the Cold World War, a period of intense conflict and political tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union. The hostile tensions had left the entire world in fear. The two superpowers could deploy nuclear weapons anytime. In the hidden depths of history, countless unknown heroes strive to create a better world, and there was one man who played a significant role. Who was this man, and how did he save the world? Is it true he prevented a third world war with nuclear weapons through clever tricks and espionage? This man is Colonel Oleg Vladimirovich Penkovsky. Often referred to as the man who saved the world, Penkovsky played a crucial role during the height of the Cold War. His remarkable actions and selfless dedication to his mission helped prevent a potential nuclear catastrophe. Well, today we aim to shed light on the truth behind Colonel Penkovsky's heroic deeds and the lasting impact he had on the world. He was a Soviet soldier secretly working for the CIA. So on the surface, he was a high-ranking officer in the Soviet Union's military intelligence agency, the GRU. However, behind closed doors, if you looked closely enough, you'd realize that Penkovsky secretly cooperated with Western intelligence agencies, including the CIA and the MI6. This clandestine collaboration began in the early 1960s, a time of heightened tensions between the US and the Soviet Union. The Cuban Missile Crisis was a high-stakes confrontation between US President John F. Kennedy and Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev, which brought the United States and the Soviet Union dangerously close to nuclear war in October 1962. During this time, Russia was constructing missile bases in Cuba, equipped with nuclear weapons aimed at the US. In the lead-up to the crisis, the CIA and MI6 spies focused their efforts on two individuals, a Brit and a Russian. Greville Wynne, a British businessman in his 40s, frequently traveled to Eastern Europe for work. MI6 approached Wynne and requested his assistance as a courier, acting as a go-between during his business trips. In spy jargon, he was known as a cutout. His role involved carrying Soviet military intelligence from Russia to MI6 in London to be shared with the CIA. Despite not being a natural spy and struggling with the intricacies of espionage, Wynne agreed, driven by the belief that he could help prevent a nuclear war. However, at the same time, Lt. Col. Oleg Petkovsky was the critical insider. This spy smuggled military documents, photographs, and human intelligence. He'd passed this valuable information to Wynne during their business meetings, including gossip he picked up at parties. Penkovsky's apparent motivation was to trade Soviet military secrets for a new life in the West, alongside his wife and daughter. He just wanted to escape the harsh brutalities of the cold Soviet Union. The stakes for both men were extraordinarily high. If they succeeded in their mission, they could potentially avert nuclear Armageddon. However, if they were caught, they faced the prospect of imprisonment, torture, and even execution. Well, it was a scary time to be a spy but these two continued their work to achieve peace and harmony in their lives. So were they able to save the world? What were the fruits of their efforts? The collaboration between Penkovsky and Western intelligence agencies culminated in a joint operation known as KTSPY. This operation involved extracting classified documents and materials provided by Penkovsky, offering unparalleled insights into Soviet military activities. Penkovsky's intelligence proved invaluable in confirming Western suspicions regarding Soviet missile capabilities and provided crucial evidence during the Cuban Missile Crisis. Tragically, Penkovsky's remarkable espionage career was cut short when the KGB caught him in 1962. Following a secret trial, Penkovsky was convicted of high treason and espionage against the Soviet Union. And sadly, once they caught him, there was no escape for Penkovsky. In 1963, he was executed by firing squad, paying the ultimate price for his service to the West. His dreams of reuniting with his family never came to be, as he paid the price of his service with his life. So what do you think? Do you think this Russian spy earned the title of the spy who saved the world? Let us know what you think in the comments section below.